Look at somebody say it's only what you know. I pray God has blessed you today. Close your eyes. Father, we thank you right now in Jesus' name for this message. I pray that these people have been blessed by your word. That when we face oppositions this 2015 year, that we will be hard-headed and stand on your word. Lord, I pray that your people really get what you have to say. Lord, let it not be based on what I think as a pastor or whatever. But if your people know you, because you said, my sheep know my voice. So Lord, you said that, so that means all of us that are saved can hear you speak. So speak to, our, speak to our hearts today. And let us know that there's a new way of looking at oppositions this year. Let us handle the oppositions of 2015 much differently than we handled those of 2014. Let us look with new eyes, with a new way of thinking. Put us in a new location. Put us around new people. <laughs> Put us around those people that we can not only motivate, but they can motivate us. Lord, I thank you for my friend, Pastor Green, who just said that in the state of my spirit, Lord. I praise you for him. And he just named you Biggie. And I thought about that. You are Biggie. You are so big, you are so large, you are so huge, that there is no opposition that we will experience this year that you can't take care of. Thank you, Lord. But yet, I heard you say today, there are things that we can do that we don't have to call you for. Lord, I pray that your people have been enlightened, strengthened, encouraged, that they was able to put on some knowledge and some understanding about your word. Lord, let us all be hard-headed when it comes to making a stand for you. Somebody said, I don't know how they said it, Lord. They just said, I don't know what you're going to do, but for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Lord, let every man stand up and be a man and hold up this banner of standards. Let every woman hold up uh, the standards and be who we're supposed to be. In these crucial times that we live in, somebody needs to be saved. Somebody needs to be encouraged. Somebody's lost and needs to be found. I heard a song this morning, Lord, on the way, just simply said, I've seen you work in others. And I want you to work in me. And that's our cry today, Lord. Work in us. Work your perfect will in us. Use us in your service. Stretch out our minds. You said if we, you can, you can do abundantly, ooh, if I stop there, abundantly, exceedingly, more than we can ask or think. Lord, let us take our mind to a place that we never thought we could go before. Because you said if we can think it, you can do it. Yes. Let us not be afraid to step out in the deep. Have your way, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen.